Hello, second grade students. My name is Miss Clark and I'm here to talk to you about plants and animals that live in habitat. A habitat is a place where plants and animals live and get what they need. There are different types of habitats all over the world. There are mountain habitats, ocean habitats, really cold Antarctic habitats, The, a habitat, remember, a habitat is a place where plants and animals live and get what they need. Here are some other types of habitat. This is a rainforest. These grasslands are also called the plains. This swamp area, both of these are called wetlands. Where this cactus plant is growing is a desert. And where these buildings are is a city park. And as we can see, plants live there and there are animals that live in cities too. They make their habitat in cities. So I am going to sing um, the following habitat song to you to the tune of Lollipop by the Cordettes. It's a fun song and I want you to hear the tune so you'll know how to sing the song. So here we go. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lollipop, 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 lollipop. Okay, keep that tune in your mind because when we sing this song, and my directions are read or sing and or sing this habitat song with a family member or a friend or a stuffy or a sibling read and sing it it'll be fun i promise okay hopefully I, I sound okay when i do it okay remember that tune of lollipop here i go habitat habitat living in a habitat 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 living in a habitat habitat but um bum bum it could be a hot dry desert or a cool sea. It could be a wetland or a forest of trees. A habitat's a place to live and breathe. Plants and animals get what they need in a habitat. Habitat, habitat, living in a habitat. Habitat, habitat, living in a habitat. Habitat, ba -doom, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Well, I hope you have fun singing that too. It helps me remember what a habitat is and what some type of habitats are. A habitat is a place where plants and animals live and get what they need. This video is an example of a broadleaf forest. This is one type of habitat that we will, st that we will study. What do you notice about this habitat. Let's take a look. I notice that there are some puddles and it's pretty dark. There's lots of shade. So it looks kind of dark and wet to me. There are many broadleaf forests in the world. We are going to study a broadleaf forest in India. This is a map of the world, um, and this shows the country of India and another little picture of the broadleaf forest. This habitat is a place where plants and animals live and get what they need. I just wanted to show you on this larger map, this red dot here in the United States is where we live in Linwood near Seattle. And we have to fly for 14 and a half hours and then four more. So I guess that would be over 18 hours to get to this place called India. Okay, so this broadleaf forest habitat is very far away in the country called India. These animals live in the broadleaf forest habitat. What do you notice about these animals? 
I noticed that these animals are very different than animals I might see living in Washington State near Linwood. The trees in the forest look sort of similar, I think, but these animals definitely, I know we don't have tigers or elephants. And you know, I don't even know what this animal is called. Hmm, we'll have to investigate to figure that out. These plants live in a broadleaf forest habitat. What do you notice about these plants? I noticed some fruit, some trees, and some flowers. The Bengal Tiger Reserve is a small part of the broadleaf forest in India. The reserve is a place where tigers are protected. The lead scientist at the reserve thinks something is changing with the trees. We are going to help figure out what is happening with the trees that live in the reserve. In this unit, we will be plant scientists. We will help the scientists at the Bengal Tiger Reserve understand what is happening with the trees there. Investigate here in red is an important word I want you to know. It means to learn more about something. Plant scientists investigate to answer questions about plants in the spaces where they live. And remember, here are words that begin questions. Where? When, <laughs> what, no, why are you doing that? <laughs> I'm gonna get on the right page. Who, how, why, what, how many, and also yes, no questions. Are they, is it, does it? These questions help us think about what we might need to know and what we might need to learn, okay? And remember, we are investigating habitats. A habitat is a place where plants and animals live and get what they need. While we will be looking at a habitat very far away from us, we will also investigate, ask questions, and learn more about the habitats in our own community. And if you don't recognize this picture, Cedar Valley. So please join me next time because I am going to be asking some questions about plants. So we will do a little investigation about what plants need. So I will see you next time. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to being a plant scientist with you.